Hey everybody, yeah, it's a early uh, sun, uh, Sunday afternoon, taking a break from football. Uh, it's halftime, I was watching the Packers and the Bears. Um, pretty good game so far. Uh, today I'm going to do one from a, a brewery I've done one before from. That's all I've seen in my uh, local store from uh, Norway. The Hamburg Garriott Double Drum, or Double Dram. I think that translates double dose. It's a Norwegian double IPA. Uh, from the website it says double dose. Do double dram slash dose is made with more of everything. Feisty American hops for bittering are followed by noble spicy and citrusy varieties as tradition di dictates. This is an exceptionally hearty brew made to weather the long hard ocean voyage to anywhere. We make living beer not pasteurized nor filtered. 9% ABV on the uh, on the bottle it says um, feisty American for hops for bittering are followed by noble fuggles and styrian goldings for a spicy flowery aroma so they use a uh, a uh, combination of American and uh, British hops uh, sounds like a good one I the one I did before was their uh, their stout and it was pretty decent so just a plain cap here. Got a little, little bit of a hiss, no smoke at all. A little bit of foam coming up in the uh, coming up in the uh, neck of the bottle, but not very much. It didn't foam over like that other one did. But uh, that's probably about all I'm going to pour. I'll save the rest for later. Um, I'll seal it up. Uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, Kind of a cloudy, orangish uh, beer. Seems like a ton of carbonation streaming up. Got a two and a half, almost three fingers of a uh, really nice uh, eggshell colored head. Just uh, that head looks like it's going to stick around a while, but there is a ton, ton of carbonation. They say non pasteurized or filtered, so it's it may be bottle conditioned, that's for sure, but. Nice looking IPA. Um, there's no uh, date that I'm going to look again, but I didn't see any date on the bottle that says batch th 434, total bottles 1368. I sent them an email, asked them why they couldn't, I because I, I went on their website and I couldn't even find a, a place to, uh, you know, look up the batch numbers to see when they were brewed, so no date on the bottle. Um, no, no way to figure, no way to find it out. So uh, let's get a nose on it. Okay, well, it's um, it may be fairly fresh. Um, you know, of course, being imported from from uh, Norway, it it's it's not going to be as fresh as some some I can get. But uh, smells, I'm getting some nice um, citrus there, um, nice spicy hops. Um, Almost like some uh, warm biscuity notes, some brown sugar and uh, and malts. Uh, there might be a, like a mixture of pine and uh, or pine needle and maybe pineapple uh, aromas and there's like a earthy yeast uh, note to it. Um, maybe just a little like of a tart red apples. I'm getting some floral hops. There's a lot going on here. Um, yeah, some light grapefruit, um, almost some leafy, like dry leaf uh, smells, uh, but it's <clears throat> definitely got the spicy and uh, floral notes sort of uh, interweaving there with the uh, with like almost like a pineapple juice aroma. Really a sweet, citrusy flavor, but it's got those floral notes too. Just nice smelling beer. There's a lot going on, so let's get a taste. Okay, now I'm getting, on the taste, I'm getting some, like, some caramel malt, some, definitely getting some of that uh, grapefruit, some, some, like, um, earthy, earthy notes, a little pine in the back, um, pine and pine, pine and pineapple are, uh, 
primarily what you get in the flavor um, as well as maybe like a little uh, red apple some of that earthy yeast um, just maybe a hint of some white pepper and some other spice I can't quite discern um, almost like uh, fresh cut grass in there some but you got that uh, sweet caramel kind of lurking in the background behind all those hops and uh, there is a little bit of that uh, nine percent uh, alcohol uh, there but it's not uh, it's not really bad and it, it certainly doesn't get in the way of anything um, seems to be like a medium bodied uh, a little heavy for uh, for an IPA but it, it's um, almost like rich and chewy except it's got that uh, you're definitely getting that uh, uh, tingle all over your tongue uh, from that, that carbonation. There's still a, a bunch of carbonation streaming up there. So um, fairly uh, like lightly crisp and uh, some dryness late. Um, kind of a long, long aftertaste though. The kind of bitterness kind of lingers a bit, but uh, pretty nice beer so far. So. Let me sit, and I will sit and sip on this a while, and I'll come back in a while with the final thoughts and grade. Hey, everybody. Yeah, I'm back. It's been all half an hour or so. Uh, I drank a little more, swirled it up, uh, add, added the rest. Well, I took, took two pours. I had to drink some and then pour some more. But, yeah, it's got a lot cloud here, so like they say, unfiltered. I'm guessing it's bottle condition. Leaving some beautiful lacing down the glass. Uh, that big foamy head just came right back up to the top the first on the first pour, and uh, looked like a, looked like an ice cream sundae. So uh, nice looking beer. It's a nice tasting beer. This is a good solid um, IPA. Um, got lots of flavor. There's a lot going on here. A really cool uh, profile on the flavor. Um, it, it's a complex IPA. There's a lot going on. A, mix, a strange mixture of hops, but uh, they work. Um, you're getting, you're definitely getting the alcohol. Um, you can taste it, but like I said before, it's not really, uh, not really obtrusive or anything else. It just lends a little bit to the, to the taste, and <clears throat> you're getting a nice uh, fruitiness from the yeast. I'm not, I'm not sure what uh, yeast they use, but uh, there's a nice fruitiness from the e yeast. It's um. Well, I think I commented. I think I commented on, on the first part that uh, this is a little heavier than a uh, little heavier mouthfeel than a than a usual um, what you're used to in a American IPA. But um, it's got a lot of flavors to it. Um, it's not a bad beer. It's a, it's a good beer. Uh, it's not a great beer. Um, it seems to just lack a little something, maybe freshness. I don't know, but. I think it's fairly fresh for, uh, you know, for being an import anyway. Um, I'm going to give the Handbergeriet double dram, and I'm sure I butchered that, so if somebody knows how to pronounce Handbergeriet properly, well, let me know. Um, I get corrected frequently on a lot of these foreign names, but uh, double dram or double dose. Um, I'm going to give it a good solid uh, 9 out of 10. Uh, re really pleasant uh, for 9% beer. Uh, easily drinkable. Uh, just, uh, I, like I said, there's a lot going on. It's a sipper. Not only because it's 9%, be but because there is a lot going on. So, uh, 9 out of 10 for the double dram, du double dose from Handberg Ariat. So, until next time, everybody, cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers.